Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to um, be winding up on the October-November 2017 IGCSE ICT paper. In the last couple of videos, we've looked at sections from document production, uh, data manipulation, as well as mailing. So now we're going to do the last section, which is presentation. You're required to create a short presentation. All slides must have a consistent layout and formatting. Unless otherwise instructed, slides should display a title and bulleted list. Okay, so step 33, create a presentation of six, uh, six slides using the file n17growth.rtf. Um, so, um, so we're going to open our PowerPoint um, and start a blank presentation. And I'm going to import or open the file that we have there. So go to desktop and open that file. Um, it's actually supposed to be in here. So just change to all files. And then we are opening the file by the name of growth.rtf. So growth.rtf, which is this one, and open. So this file should have um, um, these slides imported. Actually, there are six of them. And next, what we're going to do is to um, create a master slide to display the following features on all slides. Okay. So uh, these are some of the features. So what I'm going to do is just to create a master slide right here. So view master slide and make sure that you go to um, the first slide that you have um, on top there, okay? Um, so this is the uh, slide uh, master. Um, you may need to modify some of the features around here. So let's look at some of the things that we can do with the um, with this one. Um, so let's see. Mm -hmm. Uh, insert the company logo positioned at the top right corner, appro approximately um, appropriately sized within uh, with an aspect ratio maintained. So we need to put the logo. So go to insert picture and you go to desktop this folder and this is the logo and insert it in top right corner. Okay, top right corner. That looks good. Okay. So notice that it appears on every part. Then next, um, a three to four point wide um, horizontal line across the full width of the slide and below the logo. It should be about three centimeters from the top. Okay. So insert um, shapes. This time we're inserting a line and we draw it approximately three centimeters from the top. So just across this side. Okay. So across there, that should be fine and make it three um, to four centimeters um, in terms of the weight. So just three is enough. And I prefer making it black. Um, let's make it black first and then make it um, three. Okay. Um, yeah, so should it, it is this three centimeters? <laughs> yeah, it should be about three centimeters. Let me just move it slightly below. Okay, no, that's, that's fine, that's not bad. Um, next, we need to, um, um, to enter the text cruises in black, okay, italic font. Okay, so um, Tawara cruises, let me just copy this. And it's supposed to be italic 48 point, 48 point font, and it should be above the line. Okay, so now um, this, this, this title is kind of conflicting with, um, with what we have there. So what I'm going to do is to go on... Um, let me see if I push this one down. Okay, just push this one down and push this one down there. That's the title for the thing. And then I'm going to insert a text box um, on top here. And in the text box, I'm going to put in some text like that. And this text is going to be um, 48 point italic and Okay, so it's 48 point black. Okay, so 48 black italic. And um, I don't know what other thing we can add. Okay, so my class is about to start in a moment from now. Okay, so you have, um, okay, so you have the text should not wrap. Okay, um, 48 above the line, align to the top left of the slide. Make sure the text does not wrap. Okay. Then your name, center, and the number in the bottom right corner. So in the bottom right corner, um, I'm going to delete this one anyway. 
and I will insert the text box. Okay. Just push this down and say it's Casa Evans ZM556001. Okay, so that's your name. And then um, uh, then we need to insert an automatic slide number in the bottom left corner. So in the bottom left corner, I'm going to delete this one, which is here. And I'm going to insert my own text box. Okay. And just resize it a little bit there. And go to insert quick parts. Okay. Insert. Um, where is quick part now? <laughs> I, I seem to not to see my quick path. Um, okay, let's just put slide number. That's fine. Um, no, this one is going to to insert it on the other side. So let me see. Where is quick path? Quick path. Quick path. Where are you? Um, hmm. Can you imagine? I can't find where. <laughs> Somebody cannot find where quick path is. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, um, so um, what am I going to do now? Um, let me see. If I do this, um, this this is too much. Um, for some reason, I don't know why. Okay, yeah, that's better. I was wondering why it was doing like that. Okay, so yeah, that's better. Okay, so you have the slide number inserted there. Um, then... Um, um, hmm. Then apply all slide elements to all slides. Make sure no uh, master slide element text or chat overlap each other on any slide. So let's go ahead and view what um, this information is um, looking like. Okay. All right. So that looks good. Um, except that um, I don't like this. It looks like two similar titles. Have you seen that? So let me just push this one um, in the master slide. Let me just push this text, um, this one here. Let's just center align it so that it looks somewhat neat. Then we can view it again, and that should be perfectly fine. Okay. All right. So, um, so the next thing that we are supposed to do is, um, um, hmm, hmm, hmm. let me see. Okay. So we are done with this part. The next thing that we're supposed to do is to do. Um, a um, step number 35 let me see how much time that i've used in this one okay so i think i'm gonna have to end this step here and i'll continue with step number 35 in the next video so thank you so much guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video